Hello, my name is Denise Backmore. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this Boholicious knotted bracelet. The tools and supplies you will need to create this bracelet are wax linen cording. This is Crawford four ply. I believe it's called Walnut Brown. You will need wire cutters, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, a connector, some nugget beads, a couple of 12 millimeter round beads, a heshi, a large heshi or lentil bead, ceramic focal, I have some check glass, and these little blue beads. We are going to start by cutting three 27 and a half inch lengths of four ply wax linen cording. And I'm going to form a little needle. Wax linen cording is waxy, so you're able to form a little needle at the end. And we are going to string, this is an Amazonite connector, probably about five inches, six inches down. And we're gonna form an overhand knot. So we're just gonna wrap it around, bring the cords through, pull them through, and we're gonna move that knot down. And it's a big knot. We're gonna pull it tight, separate the strands, and pull it tight. So I think we'll do these little dangles first. We're gonna separate the strands, form an overhand knot. We're just gonna move that knot down. I'm forming the little needle and I'm picking up the check glass bead, stringing it down, coming back around. And we are just going to move that knot down, come in, trim that little end, go to the second strand, the knot down and form that little needle string our check glass bead form our overhand knot I like to hold the knot with my fingernail right at the end and I'm just sliding the knot down We're going to trim that end and then our last short strand, we're going to come in, move the knot down, flip it around, form our needle, grab our check glass slide it down. We're going to come through. I'm holding that knot and we're just going to slide the knot down. And then we're going to trim that end. We're going to grab our round nose pliers 
We're just going to come through and fray these little ends. Gives it more of a finished look. Just use them. Go right in between the strands and fray. So this is the start of our bracelet. We are now ready to start knotting. So we're gonna pick up our blue bead. We're gonna pass it through and we're gonna bring it down and we're only passing it through that center strand. And then we're gonna bring all those cords together so that each side of the cord is laying on the round bead and we are going to form an overhand knot. I like to hold those cords down when I'm bringing the knot down. So we're just sliding that knot down. Then we're gonna separate the strands and we're gonna pull that knot nice and tight. Now we're going to bring the strands together and we are going to string the large Heshi bead. We're bringing that down, forming an overhand knot. And we're just moving our knot down. And separate the strands, pull it tight. Now we're going to separate the strands again. We're going to find the middle strand. We're going to pick up our blue bead. We're stringing it down, placing the other two cords on each side of the round bead and we're holding it with our fingers and we're forming an overhand knot and I'm just moving that knot down and we're going to separate the strands and um, pull it tight. We're ready to start stringing our Amazonite nuggets. So once again, we're gonna find that center strand. We're gonna pick up one of our nuggets and string it down to the end. And we are gonna place the cording on each side of the nugget and we're holding it with our fingers. We're gonna form the overhand knot And I'm just moving the knot down. Once it gets there, we're just going to separate them and we're going to pull it tight. Separate the strands again. Find the center cord. We're going to string our next Amazonite nugget. And I have my fingers on each side and we are just going to form a simple knot and we're moving the knot down so it butts up right against that bead. Separate the strands. Pull it tight, find the center cord, grab another nugget, string that nugget through, place the cords on both sides of the nugget.
arm our overhand knot. And now we're just moving that knot down, separating, pulling it tight. Okay, center. As I'm going, I'm looking at my nuggets and I'm making sure that the bigger nuggets are towards this side and I'm gonna have the smaller nuggets towards the end. So we just placed our cords on each side. We're forming our overhand knot. Moving the knot down, separating the strands, pulling it tight. Let's find our center. And the string, whoops, let's form our needle. We're gonna string the nugget, place the cords on each side. Forming our overhand knot. And we're just moving that knot down, separating the strands, pulling it tight. Let's find the center for our last nugget. We strung it down on the center strand. We're placing our cords on each side of the nugget. We're forming a overhand knot. And we're just moving that knot down. Oops. We're pulling it tight. I just picked up a 10 millimeter jump ring to attach to the end and I noticed it's not closed. So, this is how you open and close a jump ring. You never pull it apart. So I wanna make sure that that jump ring is closed. Now we are going to string our jump ring. I'm gonna bring it down, pass it through. I'm putting this knot on top of the other knots. And then we're just gonna pull it tight. Now we're gonna form these little dangles on this side. So we're just gonna come through and we're gonna separate that strand, form an overhand knot, move that knot down, and I'm going to pick up four these little rondel beads. We're going to string those beads, bring them down, we're going to move our knot down right up against those other beads. I'm grabbing our wire cutters. We're going to trim that end. Next strand. We're going to move the knot down. Make sure we form that little needle pick up four of the little rondel beads. We're gonna pass them through, bring them down to the end. And 
and then we're gonna move the knot down, trim that end, and our last one, form our overhand knot. Make our little needle, pick up four of the blue rondelles, string those rondelles down, form our overhand knot, we're just moving that knot down and then we're going to trim the end. So once again we have to come back in using our round nose pliers and we're just going to fray the ends to give it more of a finished look. And our last one. At this point, if you like the look of the bracelet, you could stop here after we add, of course, the lobster clasp. Now we're gonna attach our lobster clasp. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pick up This four to five millimeter jump ring, this is how you open and close a jump ring. You never pull it apart. We're just gonna attach it onto the clasp. Come over to this side of the connector and close the jump ring. So I'm going to now add the um, ceramic pendant. If you like the look of the bracelet at this point, of course you can stop because it looks fabulous, but I love charms and dangles. It's kind of my thing. So I'm just gonna open this eight millimeter jump ring and I'm attaching it. And then we're gonna come right to the jump ring on the lobster clasp. And we're just going to close that jump ring. Now I'm going to show you how to create a simple loop. So I'm using a beaded head pin and I'm stringing this check glass bead. I'm just going to bend that wire down. I'm going to come over, trim that little end grab my round nose pliers and I'm just rolling the wire towards me. So let's do that one more time. We need four of them, but I already created two to save time. So we're just bending the wire down. We're getting our wire cutters. We're trimming that end and we're grabbing our round nose pliers and we're just rolling the wire towards us. Um, let's connect our dangles. So to open a simple loop, it's open just like a jump ring, so we're just gonna open that up. And I'm gonna come to the top of that jump ring next to the lobster clasp. And I'm just gonna close that. Now we're gonna connect our second dangle. Flip it over. Oh, there, finally. Okay, grabbed it. And we're gonna close that little dangle. Now 
we're going to attach two dangles to the large jump ring. So we're just going to come over, flip it around, open it, attach it. Close the jump ring. Open it. Attach it. And close the jump ring. We have two more dangles to create, so we're gonna grab our beaded head pin. Two of the little rondelles, we're gonna string one rondelle, one flat gold heshi bead, another rondelle, and this time we're gonna form a wrapped loop. So you're gonna bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, Flip it around, and we are going to wrap one, two, three. Take it off of the plier. Trim that little end. We're going to flatten out our loop. Tuck that little wire down so there's no sharp edges. Let's do our second one. Our second one is the gold Heshi bead with two of the blue rondelles. Once again, we are forming a wrapped loop. We're bending the wire down, moving the pliers up, bending the wire towards us moving the pliers to the side, bending the wire back. We're looking at the loop, we're flipping hands, and then we're gonna wrap one, two, two, three. We're gonna take it off the plier. We're going to trim off that little end, flatten out our loop, and tuck that little wire down. Using a four millimeter jump ring, we're going to open that jump ring and we're going to attach our little dangle and we're going to go to the loop and we're just going to close that jump ring. other four millimeter jump ring. We're gonna open it, grab our other dangle. We're coming to the other loop side and we're just going to attach that dangle. And there you have it, how to create this boholicious bracelet with little dangles knotted. You learned how to knot, how to form a simple loop, and how to learn a wrap loop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you know when I post new videos. I love feedback and comments. I love corresponding with beaters from around the world. I answer everybody back. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.